Hi everybody, welcome in to the teachings of Joseph and our Question of the Week series. This week we are talking about old paradigm teachings. Brian from Minnesota writes in and says, what do you mean by an old paradigm teaching? So this should be fun. So we hope that these are helping you to expand consciously your own physical vibration. Okay, enjoy. Let's listen. Hey everybody, welcome in. Been a long time again, still expanding over here. <laughs> and I'm beginning to wonder um, if I am actually dragging it out by expanding or by focusing on it so much, which is kind of an interesting question. Anyway, I hope you're all enjoying this year end holiday as we move quickly to the beginning of the new year. I really think 2023 is going to be a big shift. Uh, actually, it is available to us. I know that. So it's our choice whether we partake and participate in the expansion or we choose to you know, remain and focus on the chaos that is surrounding us. So anyway, I'm assuming that you guys are feeling these energies we've been blasted with. I know I have, and I hope you are too. And remember, as more and more light pours into the Earth's realm, know that we are calling it to us. Our focus, the teacher focus, those who are focused on expansion, and there are a lot of us, there are millions around the globe, right? So our focus on the more expanded realms, the higher vibrational realms, is what brings it to us to manifest from. We're calling it, right? Every time we focus on love, we call out to that higher vibration. And it delivers and we've been feeling it. So don't be afraid of it. Let the energies move you forward. Just relax into it. Get in the flow, right? As Abraham says, the downstream, you're in the downstream. So there's lots of new opportunities for understanding coming with this new vibration or as we move toward it, I should say. And of course, it's all expansion, which leads us to our question of the week. I've missed these. And, um, Again, I'm sorry for the delay here, but you know, I have to listen, I have to listen and then act. So our question of the week comes from Brian in Minnesota, and it is, what do you mean by old paradigm teaching? So thank you, Brian, this is a great question and um, we're thankful that you allow us to answer it for everybody. So this is a subject we've been referring to for a while. So this gives us a good opportunity to offer our perspective and understanding that will hopefully assist you guys with your own expansion. Of course, our message is one of concept. It's a conceptual message where we give you the foundation and the foundation, of course, is love. Um, and then you take it and translate it based on your own awareness and your own desires. So remember, as we understand more about who we really are, more is revealed. So understanding breeds expansion. Those are the events on our eternal pathway. And they're all events of vibrational agreement with a higher understanding of who we really are, which is the understanding of the vibration of our soul, where there is no fear, no fearful beliefs, no fearful understandings or teachings, therefore no fearful manifestations, right? Okay, so let's look at this paradigm subject. So think about a paradigm as a model. It's a model of sorts. It's a pattern of like vibrations right? When you're sending out your focus, when you're focused on something, you are sending out a frequency, attracting like frequency to you. It comes in form of thoughts and vibrational thoughts, right? So for example, when we say a teaching is old paradigm, that means it's a teaching from a realm of alignment, a vibrational timeline within the third dimension. And it is not in alignment with who you are anymore. 
Meaning as we expand through the third dimension, huge place, right? Lifetime after lifetime, we have been here thousands and thousands of time. And every time we come, we are an expanded version of the physical aspect of the soul. So we are in vibrational agreement with the timeline we're visiting, okay? There are unlimited timelines in the third dimension and each one is expanding toward who we really are. It's offering more light, okay? Go check out our video um, on our YouTube channel. Just go to videos and the face of it is green. And it's something like the human evolution path or something like that. Joseph gives us a bird's eye view of the, what the third dimension would look like you know if we could see it visually and vibrationally and the the how the human aspects physical vibration is lightening up as we're moving through the third dimension toward the fourth right toward a new dimension three four five nine doesn't matter human labels okay they are more expanded realms of consciousness and we are eternal so we get to experience all of it by choice so as we expand through the third dimension, lifetime after lifetime, we are in vibrational agreement with the timeline we're visiting at that particular lifetime in that moment. And on that timeline, we have an awareness of who we are based on our vibrational knowing, okay? And let me add this as an aside um, in case there's some confusion. Each time we leave the dimension and come back, we choose to come back, we come back with the expanded vibration of the soul and we pick up our physical vibrational aspect right where we left it. It is in vibrational agreement with the timeline we were experiencing when we kicked off, right? So this is how the aspect expands. And it's through, through and by way of our soul's expansion. Remember, the soul expands every time we individually expand, collectively expand, and we're only one aspect. And there are tons of aspects of us to the soul. Okay, so this is huge, unlimited way of thinking. Okay, so in other words, we are always a physical vibrational match to a physical vibrational timeline. And the timelines that exist in the contrasting third dimension are in contrast to who we really are, which is our soul's vibration of love. So a paradigm is an agreement, okay, vibrational agreement that results in a manifestation, an experience, let's say. And that experience is of the perspective of the timeline you're visiting. <laughs> okay, I know it can be confusing, go with me on this. An example of an old paradigm teaching would be a teaching and understanding from a different vibrational timeline you've experienced during one of your physical experiences on earth. And as we expand our knowing beyond those perspectives, it's like comparing your understanding now to your understanding in the 1500s maybe. You have expanded beyond that perspective, beyond that paradigm, that vibrational timeline that is in agreement vibrationally, right? To include more of the perspective of your soul's vibration. Some of you guys, many of us in fact, were deemed witches. You've heard that, right? During other experiences during our journey through the third dimension. That label, that understanding of that vibrational communication with other aspects at that time, on that timeline, was fearful to most and called evil and of the devil, which is a whole other old paradigm teaching, that devil guy, <laughs> you know, it's ridiculous. Anyway, we were punished, right? Put to death, heads cut off and tortured because of our awareness of more and are wanting to share it. So this is a purpose that we have had through eons and eons of time teaching what we were aware of, working with other aspects of us in the meantime, right? Gathering information, sharing it, and being punished for it because the collective level of awareness was down in the dumps. It was down in that dark hole. Go look at that video. It will help you 
understand all of this about timelines. Anyway, this stuff is still being taught today, but the manifestations have also evolved, right? Not that they're much better, but they just don't kill you anymore. <laughs> they shun us, right? They call us crazy and you're practicing evil. I just shake my head and say, okay. So think about a paradigm as a pattern, okay? In our message, we see it as a pattern of thought, okay? A pattern of vibrations that are in vibrational agreement therefore proving themselves as truth through their manifestations. And in that timeline, they are true because of the vibrational agreement, you see. It's all about your own vibrational awareness. So for those of you um, who've been following us for a while, you've heard us talk about the old paradigm teaching of the ego. So let's use that one for another example of how this goes. The teaching and understanding that the ego is bad or a bully who's bossing you around from a source somewhere outside of your own choosing, who's forcing you to do things or think things or is choosing for you in some way and making you manifest experiences you don't prefer. Obviously fear-based teaching, right? Just listen to that again. It's all fear-based teaching. Now, keep this in the context of your natural soul's vibrational pattern, the soul's perspective, the soul's paradigm, okay? The soul's vibrational realm, which is of pure love, where there's no fear, nothing outside of you controlling anything, and you are eternal. That's a foundation. So that means there is no vibrational agreement for this current belief of the ego. It's, it, it can't be, it's not a universal truth, or it is a universal truth. There is no manifestation where there is no vibrational agreement on any level of consciousness. This is a universal truth. So you have adopted this teaching for whatever reason and conjured a belief from it. You may choose to believe it, you know, because of a teacher who's teaching it. I remember Wayne Dyer teaching uh, ego as edging God out. Um, I'm a lover of Wayne Dyer, love the man, love what he did and what he shared and just a beautiful example. But his teaching was how long ago, you know, and we have evolved since then. So as we expand, new opportunities for understanding are presented to us within this perspective, okay? So however you choose to believe it, or, you know, you may have heard someone say something like, that guy has a huge ego, and you determined for yourself the ego to be a bad thing, right? There are unlimited reasons why you might have this belief, none of which really matter. The only thing that does matter is where the belief is foundationed. Okay, what vibration is it creating from? We have throughout eons of time accumulated beliefs and understandings through our journey through the third dimension, and they've been available for our choosing. Maybe they came from our parents, our teachers, pastors, preachers, priests, gurus. It doesn't matter. You see, the third dimensional contrasting paradigm is one that offers fear or as we say, out of alignment with who you really are. This is the point of taking the time to decipher where your beliefs and understandings are sitting. Not necessarily where they came from, but what is the vibrational foundation? Because that's what you're creating from. Your beliefs are powerful. And if it's not love, you cannot bring them with you and you wouldn't want to anyway. You can't. Once you move past it, once you understand that the witches were sharing information that was being shared with them from the more expanded realms to help us, you know, you have shifted your perspective and you've opened up to a new understanding that includes unlimited angles and unlimited teachings. And it's just never ending, unlimitless. <laughs> Everything works within the vibrational timeline where it was created because vibrational agreement is perfect. This is the reason we say there is no need to return to fix anything um, you know, that happened to you before. You don't need to unlearn anything. Everything was in perfect alignment with your choices, your vibrational choices, and those choices led you to the experiences of those choices and just 
more choices. And they're all based on the vibrational timeline you were playing in at that time. The awareness, your awareness is where you sit. Okay, so now we know how we're creating our experiences. And that is through our vibrational choosing. Okay, so the old paradigm teaching that the ego is bad comes from an old paradigm, meaning a pattern of thought, a pattern of alignment that you experienced while making your way through the third dimension. All vibrational timelines that make up the third dimension of contrast offer contrast to us for the purpose of offering choice. You know, if you've read book three, I think it's in book three of the Allow Your Soul to Lead series, we talk about collective grouping. And this is where a group is formed based on their vibrational beliefs, okay, their beliefs, whether the individuals in the group believe them or not. In other words, the collective is in agreement with the group, not necessarily the beliefs. Okay, for example, there are many Christians who are in agreement with the group called Christians, but they don't believe what Christianity teaches. This is groupthink, you know, it's a paradigm of thoughts and traditions. I know some pretty devout people who label themselves Christians, but when the door is open for an outside of the box discussion and nobody else can hear them, you know, what is revealed is usually problems with what the church is saying. But they wouldn't think of bringing up those doubts, you know, within those walls, because that's the collective grouping. And it's out of alignment, right? It's in alignment with the vibration of their awareness, let's say, out of alignment with who we really are, okay? So the current belief of the ego falls into a category of collective grouping, in that most people, God, you know, most people I've spoken to about what they believe the ego to be, tell me just about the same story. And it falls under the category of out of alignment belief for me. They all get to a certain point in their understanding where they say something like, I just don't know. Uh, this is what I was taught. So I just don't know. And, you know, something to that effect. And that's fine. But now is the time to revisit the beliefs that we've been carrying along and leave them where they were born, so to speak, in vibrational agreement. They'll be very comfortable there. You see, our beliefs carry a vibration. So if you believe, say, that the ego is evil and you don't give it much thought and really could care less about that particular subject, it doesn't matter because you're still housing that out of alignment vibration. And ultimately, it will manifest as you focus on something else that's out of alignment. Think of the two umbrellas, right? One is out of alignment, one is in alignment. And there are unlimited probabilities and opportunities and uh, experiences to be had under each umbrella. So when you focus on one pathway, you're moving toward a manifestation of that vibration. Okay, so now is the time to conjure beliefs from the new paradigm using the universal truths, or as you say, the universal laws to construct them, the one constant, the universal laws. So if we want to move to the new paradigm of thought, we must accommodate the perspective of that vibration. And this time, as we move forward into the fourth dimension, it requires a total shift in perspective. And that shift is from fear to love, or as we put it, from out of alignment to in. Okay. Another old paradigm teaching, I love this one, is that nothing is perfect. You know, nothing's perfect. If your relationship sucks, well, nothing's perfect. No relationship is perfect. Every relationship has. And so it's another collective grouping. People say, well, yeah, I'm having trouble. So I'm part of that group. So you attach yourself and you commiserate together, expanding that out of alignment thinking vibration, right? You know, um, also, if you look at the old paradigm teachings, you'll find many <laughs> common threads all out of alignment, right? But one that has always stood out to me, and that is the blame game. They're all blaming someone else, right? Blame the ego. Blame, blame that nobody is perfect. Nobody is perfect. No situation is perfect. Nothing, nothing, nothing is perfect, right? Blaming something outside of us. It's really foisting our responsibility somewhere else. 
And that responsibility belongs to us. And it's based on our own individual choosing. So when you shift your perspective to every manifestation is perfectly created through universal vibrational agreement, you see things differently, mainly yourself. And when you begin to take on the responsibility for your own creations, manifested through your choosing, you will begin to choose more consciously and deliberately. And that's when it starts to get really fun. <laughs> Guys, we are so powerful because we are the only ones who are choosing our own vibrations. And when we are attracting what we're vibrating and therefore we are in complete control all the time. You just have to know that and get acclimated to it because frankly, we just didn't know it, right? We didn't know how to get out of the problem or why we keep creating the same thing over and over again. Very simple when you think in terms of vibration. This is an opportunity for our expansion during this lifetime. And that is to know who we are and how we create. Remember, we are in the process of co-creating the new earth in its physical form and the new us, the new aspect, the new physical aspect, who is us in our new physical form, which will be a manifestation of our newfound understanding and the accommodating of the new realm of consciousness we're moving towards. So exciting. But there is no baggage allowed on this flight, guys. We get all new stuff. <laughs> we get all new stuff. And all the new stuff is a manifestation of the pure loving vibration of our soul, right? So in other words, a new paradigm, a new vibrational timeline to step onto, and a perfect experience of it all in vibrational agreement with our soul. First, we'll experience the fourth dimension and then into the fifth. So as you go about your day, pay attention to what you're thinking and saying and really meaning, for therein lies the vibrational resonance and feel your thoughts before you choose to focus on them. This, I know this is a big exercise and it's ongoing. This is how we expand by focusing on it. You don't have to do it, you know, eight hours every day. You do it when you, when you think about it. And the more you think about it, the more you'll think about it. So just let it unfold, just allow it. That's all, do it when it feels right. Something will strike you and you'll say, oh, I need to think about that. It starts, there's no time frame. Remember you're eternal, okay? So feel your thoughts before you choose to really focus on them and begin creating a pathway to a manifestation, consciously choosing the step before you put your foot down, okay? We are loaded with old paradigm teachings because we've been experiencing the, what we're referring to now as the old paradigm for eons of time. And now it's time we move on. So it wasn't the old paradigm until it became the old paradigm, okay? Kiss them, lay them down, thank them for their assistance in your expansion and move forward with your soul and allow the new experiences to simply reveal themselves and they will. This next step we're taking is on a pathway of conscious discovery and the beginning stages of the discovery is accepting and choosing to trust your soul's guidance. Remember, from our current perspective, from the third dimension, gathered from lifetime after lifetime, expanding through it, we have no experience in the fourth or fifth. It's all new, so we must look to our soul to lead us, and that guidance is, guess what? <laughs> vibrational, right? Another reason we harp on vibrations so much. When you shift and you can begin looking at things with a vibrational eye, it will move you on your pathway of alignment, which by the way, is your soul's eternal path, which is your eternal path. Okay. I really hope this helps guys. I know it's a big subject and it can be confusing, but once you understand vibrational agreement, and it's so simple, you know that, don't make it harder than it is, then you understand everything. You'll take a step forward easily, 
Okay. Every part of this shift is new to us. And there are many, many, many parts to it. So it will ease your journey if you adopt your soul's perspective and just relax and just move forward, choosing consciously and continuously from the space of love. And it's a powerful love. It is our, geez, it's the creative force. It's our creative force. Okay. Thank you again, Brian. Um, I hope we've answered your question. I tend to get off. Um, you know, on tangents here and there, but you guys know that. So, and if you have a follow-up, please feel free to shoot it to us. Also, check us out on Instagram at The Teachings of Joseph. I post our quotes there every day. Also, uh, you can check out our website at theteachingsofjoseph.com where you'll find our books, the link to our YouTube channel, other resources, and some of the books I was given by Joseph in the beginning. It's all fun stuff. And you can sign up for a quote of the day there too comes via email. <laughs> um, that link is at the top of the homepage and it's really small. Not sure why, but it's okay. Anyway, we love you guys. Thank you for following us and for expanding consciously. It's really fun. We do it together, right? <laughs> See us arm in arm standing on the shore. Okay, here we go. Email us if you have a question to uh, info at the teachings of joseph.com and we will get to it. We hope your new year is abundant in all things. Peace, joy, excitement, passion, and of course, love. And we'll be back soon. Thanks for listening, everybody. Join us again for the next Question of the Week with Joseph. Take good care. <laughs>